panels, panel one. And what I'm gonna do is put this in there, a little crevice there. Uh, you have got two little pins, as you can see there, so you haven't got to glue them. And there, just notice you have got a number one. So you know you got the right one, but you, you know guys, because it's a very small one. So all you gotta do is drop that into place, pop it in like that, and that's done. Now I'm very worried about not putting glue on that. But yeah, they do seem very sturdy. When you put them in, they're just sticking. So that should be all right. So trust the process, guys. <laughs> and the second panel, which is 109C, it's another black panel. Again, you've got number two on there. So you know you've got the right one. You've got these little pins there. Screwing these screws in. There you go. So tighten that up. Nice and tight. Brilliant guys, and there we have sections 109 and 110A with just applied two LM screws, one there, one there, and obviously connecting them together that be in the video with the LM screws there. Also we have applied these little panels. They'll land on one way, so I'll just twist them around a bit until you get in the right position. And then when you are, you give it a nice little push. That's two little pins. Show the next one in book. Okay. Hey all, welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Hope you're doing good, guys. Hope you're well. Today I'm building more of the Titanic from Hashit Partworks, and we're at stage 110. So the issue 110, guys. This is the mag and the parts, which we'll be taking a look very shortly. If you're not already subscribed, guys, remember to subscribe, like, also comment and share. Press that bell notification. You'll always be notified every time I put something up to do with Titanic or anything else on the channel. You will be notified on your device if you press that bell notification. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on the Titanic Hash It Part Works. Okay then guys, so we won't hang about, it's the Titanic from Hatchet Pirates. Here we have the mag and the parts. Let's take a look. Well, we'll take a look at these shortly. As usual, let's take a look through this week's mag. Right, before we get going then guys, coming in next week's issue 111, we've got the stern section of the keel and screws. So that's basically the floor, the underneath of the ship. So that's going to be going out, that'll give you some good structure. So that's going to be pretty cool. Let's have a quick browse. Look at the size of it guys, look at, look at that. That just puts into perspective just a picture how big these ships were. Unbelievable. Got some nice black and white pictures there. There she is, the upper deck of the Aquitania. Steam whistles mounted on the first and second funnels are visible. Just there, look. Beautiful pictures. I mean, these alone are massive. Can you imagine how much weight these ships are carrying? Wow. Anyway, what we're doing this week then, we've got the lower aft hull section, starboard side. And it looks to me, guys, by the look at these instructions, this piece of speech over and get here, what we had last week, is going to be being fitted today along with this piece here, which is the 110A lower aft hull section starboard side. So it looks like we're just going to be joining those together. And then, yeah, 
attach them to the other side of the ship as you can see in the diagrams and then we'll be putting these four panels on also and then I think we look like we are done and dusted for this section of the, the model yeah the lower part of the hull of the Titanic model is now complete that's what we're going to be looking at at the end of today's video guys here we go again I do love where these are packed so here then we've got some AM screws LM screws Let's see what we've got in here I think these are going to be the panels yeah so by the end of today these will all be fitted so we've got two black ones and two titanic red I'm going to call that from that not exactly what colour so we've got four panels and then last but not least we have the lower aft hall section not sure if that does it justice on camera we are in 4k but wow a lot of reflecting off of that beautiful right let's not hang about let's crack on and then guys so instruction one we've got to take piece 109 which is the black piece and 110a which is this piece here i'm calling it titanic red guys because i'm not sure it's burgundy red color what color it is i don't offend anyone if i'm getting it wrong <laughs> so what we got to do is join those two together like so and then we'll attach those with some LM screws to these ones. And we've got to use an Allen key, which we've received many issues ago now, guys. And let's get these put together. So we'll just put them there. You know what? We'll do it this way. You just hold it up like that, guys, so you can keep them joined until you get the bite and then you shouldn't have any issues screwing these screws in screwing these screws in there you go so tighten that up nice and tight i'm worried about these um allen keys you know this has seen better days that side's rounded so we have to just use this side for today do you know what what i might do because that's a bit rounded this little toolbox we've got here guys i think we might be better using one of these let's just see if i've got one that fits probably ain't it's usually the way No, it doesn't want to fit. We might have to keep using the Allen key. Let's see if these fit. Oh, that might be okay. Let's just try the next size. No, it's too big. Try this one. That's too small. So we'll go with this one. Oh, this will do the trick. As I say, that one I've got there is not doing very good. Yeah, that's fine that. So that's one screw in. Not sure this is magnetic. No, it's not. So what I'm gonna do is just line these two screws left to put in. LM screws, line them up, start them off, and then we'll tighten those up. Yeah, I don't know if you watched last week's video though guys, check it out at the end, I think I'll put it at the end, there's a little snippet of what this extra 50 issues are going to be making, and it looks good, and I'm going to be doing it guys, I'm going to be bringing it to the channel, so that's going to be, we're at 110 now I think, this issue, so yeah, we've got a bit to go, we've got another 30 issues to go, and then we'll be into the extended um, 50 issues. Right, so that takes us to the end of instruction one. We've put those two pieces together. That's those pieces, guys. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Yeah, you might be beneficial putting something soft down on your, your table so you don't scratch that. I haven't, but I'm lucky, really. Quite a scratch at them. So, let's move on to instruction two.
Okay then, so instruction two guys, we're going to be putting these two pieces just joined together to the rest of the ship, like so. And we've got to connect those together now with some more LM screws. Now I don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to use the, oh, I've got the wrong bag here, sorry guys, bear with. Yeah, so use the LM screws we've just been using to attach the two pieces together. So you've got two little holes here, threads where you've got to join it together. Bear with my big bulk hands in the way here. But it, I think you're going to have to use the Allen key you've been provided here, guys, as you're not going to fit this screwdriver in. I will try. Could be a lot easier. No, it's not going to fit. What I might do is just use the end of this to start off the thread. At least it's connected then. And then I might try and use the Allen key provided. Yeah, because this is not that rounded to be fair. It's the other side what's rounded. So we might get away with it to be fair. So yeah, just tighten these two together. LM screw there and LM screw just at the bottom. And then you're all done. For this part anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to get those tight guys. And then we'll move on to instruction three. Brilliant guys. And there we have sections 109 and 110A. We've just applied two LM screws. One there, one there. And we obviously connected them together at the beginning of the video. With LM screws there also, but that's how that's looking. Isn't that brilliant? Ah. So now we're all done with one and two instruction one and two. Now we're going to move on to instruction three. Okay, then guys. So instruction three, what we're going to do is push, and you, you might be able to see on camera. I've got a load of screwdrivers here, guys. It's best to have some prepared. So what you want to do is tell your instructions to push the ends of the port side port and starboard sides of the hull together at the stern end which I'm doing now and then that basically puts the ends together and what we're going to do now is get some AM screws in these four holes here one there one there and one there right in there and we're going to screw those together all right getting real now guys we're actually connecting the ship together brilliant so I've got to put these four screws in and then once we've done that we'll be applying the four panels basically just to cover these screws and that's going to be it for this week's build guys. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Stick with me to the end and I'll do an outro and show you exactly how this thing's looking. I'm not sure yet I might do a bit on the desk and a bit on the shelf because you get a better, better look at it then. So yeah stay tuned to the end for that guys. We're not quite finished just yet. I'm going to put these screws in here. I can't believe we're getting to the end of this build now. We've got a few issues to go as yet, but God, I remember the first issue I did with this probably two years ago, two and a half years ago. Love it. I just had to have this in my collection, guys. It's going to be beautiful when it's finished. But we're not there yet. Right, so that's all the screws in. Now what we're going to do is get the four panels just to put over these holes and that's it. Okay then guys, so instruction four, we've now got to apply these little panels. They'll only go one way, so just twist them around a bit until you get in the right position. And then when you are, give it a nice little push. That's two little pins, which I'll show in the next one, but be careful guys, these are very, Flimsy, not flimsy, what am I looking for? Lively, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, it can bounce back at you, you can lose them across your room, whatever. But they will only go in one way. Not sure I've got that the right way, have I? Let's try this way. Yeah, there you go. See, they're only going one way. You don't need glue for them, I'm just double checking. 
No, you don't need glue. But as you can see by looking, you've got like two little pins. And there we have it, guys. You've got all those four panels put in. I thought I'd just go straight through the finished result, guys, as you've seen the same last week with the panels on the front side of the ship. You just simply push them in. On each side of there, you've got two little pins. One's a big pin, which will go in the big hole, and the little pin into the little hole. Easy. No glues needed. Just find the right way around, push them in, and that's the finished result, guys. Show you under here. So it's looking. Lovely. And I think by looking in the mag for next week, that's what we're putting in next week, guys. All that will be sealed. Just bear with me about the raw video here. I'll just go along and show you. There, there's a light in there. There we go, all the way down there. But this thing has to be put where we can put it, guys. <laughs> it is so massive. I'll just show you around here, look. I've got the top of the Titanic, Millennium Falcon. A bit of Millennium at the back, there's my caps. That's where she usually sits. And there. Uh, bit of the Titanic here. Oh, sneak peek there. That's what some some of the mags are going next. Some builds. That high five will get fixed. I'll show you all around a little sneak peek. There's my weights. Mrs. Bike. Oh, there she is. There's the Ducati and the Z900. There's my mountain bike. I've not been as much at all. Lampshade. This side needs to do, guys. This is my studio, but this is. The good side that needs doing and there you have titanic engine elvis memorabilia up the top well there that captain america my son gave me that from school ups to do there wwe figures they're still on the channel somewhere star wars more millennium at the top there look brilliant Darth fired up there all the little pieces to the millennium falcon Scooby up there, Subaru. I remember that the Ferrari blast from the past. If that ever comes back, guys, I will bring that to the channel. Got Elmo, who's in my video every day. Mickey, Ferrari engine. Look at the detail on that, guys. I don't know. I've gone to this, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek. DB5 wheels, the chassis, bonnet, door, the engine, and then the Dom's charger. But anyway, enough for showing you around the studio. <laughs> If you have seen that, hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, there we have the Titanic on the side. I'm going to pull her up in a glory now and give you an outro. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. And that is it for this week, guys, for the Titanic from Hatchet Park Works. Basically, all the lower part of the hull now is now complete. We've put those two panels on, also those little square rectangle connectors, whatever you want to call them, panels cover all the screw holes etc so that's what's been up to today guys pretty cool exciting issue this thing is getting very difficult to keep moving now that's that's the worst part of the video now is moving it up and down onto the desk but hey it's a nice place to be in. keep moving this beautiful ship this beautiful model but for now guys i'm going to leave it there hope you enjoyed it come back next time yeah, i'll see you soon see ya peace